Hi, welcome to new project video, which can predict which yoga asana you are performing in front of webcam. Here is a quick showcase or you can say the introduction part of this project video and after this you will see how to install or run in your PC and where you can get the code. And after this video I am going to make a video for the explanation part of this project how I created this project by using the python and tensorflow and media pipe and OpenCV. Currently it has been trained for about 6 yoga poses but you can train it for how many you want. So how was it? I hope you would have liked the intro part or the, this project. Now if you want to run this project in your PC what you have to do is go in the descri description and you will find this github link. And once you get over here you can directly download the zip or clone the repository in whatever favorite directory you want. So after you download the code from over here you will get these files in your PC. So the first thing you have to do is to open the terminal in the same directory or use the cd command to navigate to this particular directory wherever you have downloaded the code. So first you have to say pip install dash r requirements.txt and hit enter and after that it will install all the requirements we are using in this project. To be short these are just 5 libraries we were using. Now after that you will find 3 python scripts in this uh, particular uh, folder. The first one is data collection then data training and then inference with name everything is clear itself. So first one is for the data collection in case you want to add more data to this project and after that you have to train on that data and after all you will have to run the inference if you want to test uh, what you what you have already seen in the intro part. So let's start with the data collection but before if you want to directly run the inference I have already given this model.h5 and labels.npy in case you want to directly test it out of the box. So first of all if we open the data collection.py then this is the code for this we are not interested in it yet I will create another video for the explanation part of this. Now if you want to uh, collect the data again open the direct, uh, terminal in the same directory and you have to just say python data collection.py. Now after that it will ask the name of the asana you want to insert. So let's say I, I am going for uh, xyz asana and after that if I hit enter it will start capturing actually and it is saying, saying that make sure your full body is in the frame. Now what you do is just go in, uh, in the place where your full body is visible and after that make the posture in front of the camera. And after that it will going to collect the data for that and will going to save it over here with the name whatever you have given for example xyz.npy. It will going to save the data and after that you have to run data training.py. So for that you just have to again open the terminal in the same directory and you just have to say python data training dot py and hit enter and after that whatever data you have collected recently it will going to train on that data. So uh, for now we don't have any data in this directory uh, so it will not going to train. So what I do quickly add some data using the data collection dot py I will fast forward everything and you will see how easy is that. Alright so now you can see that I have collected two asan, pranam asan and vrakshasan and you can do uh, as many times you want to collect the data for as many asans you want. Now after that you just have to say python data training.py to train on the new data which we have recently collected and you will see that it will run very smoothly and we got an accuracy of around 78. You can increase the epochs and now we have to say python inference.py in order to run the inference on our newly trained uh, uh, model. So I just have to say python inference.py once I hit enter a new window will going to open on the same screen. So you see that over here. Now you just have to get in front of the camera and it will, it will going to show the uh, predict the asans of that. So I'll just quickly do that. Alright so this is it. So how you see that how easy is it to just run data collection and then data training and then inference to directly uh, run the all of the things. You just have to do is go in the description get this code. I'll update this readme uh, 
readme.txt uh, I'll just include all the instructions over here also so that you find no mistake so that you do no mistake in installing this uh, project one thing I would really want from your side is give this repository a star if you really like this project and give this video a like if you really enjoyed and it helped you in any way uh, either your project or main, minor project or major project I'm always available for you if you want any help from my side regarding this project you can contact me from the given links below in the description I'll also update it in over here so if you are interested in more projects like this you can hit the subscribe button for more such projects so I'll end this video right over here I hope you enjoyed this project and I'll catch you in the next video till then keep coding